Hello, New Wall Street. Yeah. It's an honor to be here today. I, I'm going to start low, and I'm going to set the bar, see how magical I need to be for this audience today. Let's do a magic trick that uses a little brown. A magic trick that uses a little brown. Excellent. Inside it was a bottle of. This is the segue from lunch. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I snap my fingers in a very magical way. And just like that, the bottle of ketchup has vanished. Thank you, yes. <laughs> now the hard part is making it come back. <laughs> I will do it again, and this time I will prove to you that it vanishes. It fools the old Wall Street. <laughs> but this is the new Wall Street, and we're making miracles happen. It's gone. Thank you. Now, this is my favorite part of the show. This is where I come out into the audience, sorry, people at home, and I find myself a volunteer. And this is when everyone in the audience avoids eye contact. I love that. No, put your hand down, sir. I'm looking. <laughs> Not you. A little too anxious. Try the decaf. <laughs> Anyone at all in the whole audience that would like to volunteer, please do so by raising a hand. Hey, look, we got a volunteer. And the crowd goes wild. Come on up, sir. Yes, you. Yes, you. Come on up. Take the shortcut. Hello, sir. What is your name? My name is Jaime. Jaime? Yes. Where are you from? China. China. No kidding. And what do you do for a living, Jaime? Uh, I'm a visiting fellow. A fellow, a visiting fellow. Oh, this yes. is an honor. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Jaime, everyone. For your entertainment pleasure, I am now going to saw Jaime in half. I'm going to cut you in half. Yeah, in magic. You ready? Yeah. With a handkerchief. No, no, no. Leave the glasses on, Jaime. No, no. Put them on. We need those. Yes. Yes, keep those on. I'm not going to saw you in half. I'm going to attempt to make this m handkerchief vanish magically. Magically. In your left hand. Most magicians would do it in their own hand. Jaime, ball it up in this hand. Don't cheat and use that hand. Turn your hand over. Get it all the way in there. You got a death grip. It's not real magic. Just a trick, Jaime. On three, you turn it over and it should be gone. You ready, Jaime? Yeah. One, make it magical. Two, make it dramatic. Three, open. It didn't work. That's OK. I came prepared. Instead, I am going to shackle you up and see how long it takes you to escape. <laughs> Welcome to the Bay Area, Jaime. <laughs> These are Chinese shackles, the same shackles they still use in China nowadays. <coughs> Shit, excuse me. <laughs> what Chinese shackles are an eight inch ring, four chains, two locks, and a key. Jaime, the key's here just in case the trick does not work. Let's hope we don't have to use that. Jaime from China, who's a fellow, would you lock my right hand into the shackles, please? Very good, Jaime. Once you lock the lock, pull, and make sure it didn't de-lock. Pull, pull, yes, good. Not that much, but okay, good. <laughs> same thing, but on the other side, Jaime. Very good, but stay away from my watch. Some of the jokes are just for me, Jaime. <laughs> Once you lock that lock, pull it and make sure it did indeed lock. I'd like you to face the audience. Keep facing the audience, but step to the right side. We'll switch places. Switch, switch. Perfect. Jaime, make sure I am still locked in there, yes? He's fast. OK, good. Jaime, in the back of the room is a big clock. Do you see the clock? Clock? Do you see the clock? Yes. No? Yes. yes. Hey. Or do you have a watch? Do you have a watch? You're going to time me. We need to use time. You have a watch? <laughs> welcome to Silicon Valley. Here you go. <laughs> You're welcome. It's your watch, yes. <laughs> Still locked, yes, Jaime? Does your watch have a second hand? Hold it up in the light, please. Please. When the second hand gets to 12, you say, go, and I'll attempt to beat my old record of 44 minutes, OK? Jaime, still locked, yes? Still locked, yes, yes, OK. How many seconds until it gets to the 12? Hold on to the key. Make sure I can't get to it. Excellent, Jaime, yes. Good, still locked, yes? Yes. yes. Tight. Okay, get ready on the countdown. Say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, yeah. 4, 3, and then I'll start. Yeah. I'm out of there. A big round of applause for Jaime, everyone. Thank Good you. job, sir. Thank you. Watch your step. You. you get to keep that watch as a souvenir. <laughs> if, you don't like to have that, if you don't like that watch, I have others to pick from. I've been working all lunch. Now, I, I read the description, and uh, the description of uh, Ted New Wall Street talked about sustainability, and I was thinking, how could I, a magician, comedian, do a quick little demonstration 
and find sustainability in small places. And the idea is that if we all find small places, it adds up globally. So I came up with this idea and I'm gonna share it with all of you. When you're at one of those little cocktail parties and you're done with your drink, before you recycle it, you shake out all the fluid, you place it under your jacket like so, and then as you're chatting to people, say, did you hear that? No? Listen, listen, this is. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> So I basically repurposed it for entertainment, yes. A little gift to all of you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop. I need to borrow, and you will get it back. I need to borrow a $100 bill. Raise your hand, sir. Now if you're the, the anxious guy, you got 100? I'd love to find 100. I'll, I'd like to find 100. You've got one. Ma'am, would you bring that $100 bill on stage? A big round of applause for the lady who's uh, brave to come up on stage. Come on up, yes. Hurry up and take your time. Got seven minutes and 56 seconds. No pressure. <laughs> what is your name? Ellen. Ellen. And what do you do for a living? A writer with a $100 bill. Nice. <laughs> That'll show our parents, right? <laughs> Not sure. You got one? You got it? OK. Yes, I'll meet you at the corner of the stage. Let's give her another big round of applause. Thank you, Alan. Come on up and watch your step. Where are you from, Ellen? Los Angeles, and who do you write for? Yourself? That's awesome, congratulations on that. Oh, very good, come up on stage. Now, Ellen, I want to make that $100 bill uniquely yours. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to write your name. Come on in the light a little bit. I'd like you to write your name nice and big across the uh, Benjamin Franklin side of the $100 bill. Let's do this side. So now it's your opportunity to write. Please. Yes, yes, yes. The money will still be good. Write it big because we're going to show it to the camera. I am positive. I am a professional. I have a website. Okay. So. Just yeah, write your name nice and big. Go crazy, lefty. Come on. You can do it. Ellen, El, peer pressure, El, this is the new Wall Street. We write on money here. Yes, yes, just commit to it. I've got six minutes and 27 seconds. I'll write on that bill. Excellent. Now's a good time to tell you it's a federal offense. You're now under arrest. <laughs> Would you show everyone your name on it? Ellen, I'm going to show you that my hands are empty. I have no other $100 bills in my hands, both sides. You have a very important job. I'm going to switch places with you, but keep your eyes on the money. Ellen, I am going to uh, try to trick you and fool you. Keep your eyes on the money. On the money, very good, yes. I fold it in half, I fold it in half again. You can still see the 100, and it's clearly in my right hand. I'm a righty. My left hand, the empty hand, is going to go inside the briefcase and grab a envelope. This is the end of transparency. Thank you. And then I stick the envelope like so, and I wrinkle it. The wrinkling is so that you know this envelope has your money in it, because these two identical envelopes do not. We're going to play a little game for Ellen's money. It's kind of like a three-card Monty or a three-shell game, kind of like the old Wall Street. You don't get to see your money. You don't know where it goes. I'm going to mix it up and shuffle it. Excellent. Ellen, right now you have a one in three choice. I'd like you to point to an envelope that does not, does not have your money in it. The end one, that's a good choice. Inside my briefcase, I also have a portable paper shredder. I call it the Bernie Madoff. <laughs> I think Ellen's going to pay very close attention now. Excellent. You've got two envelopes left. It's a 50-50 chance. Did you actually drop that, or is that somebody else's? She looked away. I can't believe she. Now they're both wrinkled. Yes. <laughs> Just like the old Wall Street, Ellen. <laughs> I have no idea. Point to the one that does not have the money, Ellen. I hope you're right. Oh, let's get that into the box. Yes, just like so. So what we'll do is we'll just shred that. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to open this one up, take out the $100 bill, and then we've done a little demonstration. That's not good. There it goes. <laughs> okay. Got a little stuck there. Take out the $100 bill. Confirm that it has your signature on it.
Easy come, easy go, yeah. I say the magic words, I'm sorry. That's the old Wall Street, yeah. Thank you, Ellen, you can have a seat. <laughs> wait, wait, Ellen. That was the old Wall Street, this is the new Wall Street, let's do it again, take out another $100 bill. <laughs> it was supposed to be a security envelope. <laughs> Ellen, you know what? Stage left, there's a clear box. This is the beginning of the transparency. Inside that clear box is a little green bag. This green bag has been here since before I started. Inside that green bag is a $100 bill. It's been there. I'd like you to grab the green bag, come center stage. Yeah, just take the whole bag. Come center stage, open it up, take out the $100 bill, unfold it, confirm that it has your signature on it, get the thunderous applause you deserve. A Twinkie, that would've been awesome. Just for a moment, you thought it was in there, didn't you? <laughs> That would have been so cool. <laughs> no, 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 Kate, they take that Twinkie out. That is the world's most expensive Twinkie. It costs you $100. <laughs> Do you, Ellen, know what's inside Twinkies? Junk food. Junk food. What else? Cream filling, my people. <laughs> also inside that Twinkie is a $100 bill. I use Twinkies because I don't want to waste food. <laughs> Open one side. You choose the side. Grab the, or, or yeah, the teeth. Probably works too. Yeah, yeah, they're very good. I don't want to make too much mess on the stage. There's several other speakers, but check this out. In that little hole you made, I reached inside, covered in cream filling and cake. This is cool. There's a little green piece of paper. Let me get the cake off of it. Please. Open it up. Is that your handwriting? Yes. Ellen, everyone. Watch your step. Yes. And I can trade it for you afterwards if you like. Okay. <laughs> Keep it going for Ellen, everyone. So the point I'm trying to make with a little bit of effort, if each person in their own way works on a little bit of sustainability and every person works a little bit on transparency, together we have the opportunity to prosper. <laughs> my name is Robert Strong. That's the end of my set. Good night, everyone. Thank you.